How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can get the secret Ninja Skulls trophy in Omnimusha Warlords Remastered. To obtain this trophy, we need to execute an enemy using Kaede's special attack. So Kaede's special attack looks like this. It's basically just a somersault over the enemy, followed by a stab wound to the neck. So the way to perform this is actually very, very easy. However, I've seen it described in many places completely inaccurately or simply not the most effective way. Um, in most places, it says you have to press R1 forwards and square at the same time for the somersault, and then R1 square and backwards for the stab wound straight afterwards. And while that's technically correct, no one really bothered explaining the time difference between when to press each button or the easiest way to do this. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. First of all, you can use either the D-pads or the analog stick, however, I would highly recommend using the D-pads to make this a lot easier. And before we jump into it, I'll specify when I say forwards on the D-pad, I mean forwards relative towards the enemy. So if I'm standing in front of the enemy, it would be forwards. But if I'm behind the enemy, when I say forwards, it would mean backwards on the D-pad. Pretty much just towards the enemy. So the first thing we're going to do is simply hold down R1 by itself. Um, and then what we're going to do is quickly tap forwards on the D-pad, followed by square immediately afterwards. Not at the exact same time. So here's that again. Hold down R1. You can hold R1 down for as long as you want. There's no rush to press the next part of the combo. But once you do press forwards on the D-pad or towards the enemy on the D-pad, you want to very quickly press square immediately afterwards to do the somersault over the enemy. And then as soon as you land, without letting go of R1, you want to do the same thing, but with backwards on the D-pad and square as well, instead of forwards. So one last time, hold down R1 towards the enemy on D-pad, followed immediately by square button. And then as soon as you land, while not letting go of the R1 button, backwards on the D-pad with the square button. The stab to the neck, you can actually press square and backwards on the D-pad at the exact same time, it doesn't matter. But on the somersault, I found that pressing up on the D-pad and square at the same time never really allowed me to do the somersault. This was simply the most consistent way of doing it here, as you can see, jumping over them pretty easily. And yep, as soon as you get the execution, it should give you the trophy. I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.